Welcome back everyone, welcome back to the Little Red Ninja Allotment Channel. I just thought I'd uh, pop over to check on uh, everything after we've had a couple of uh, torrential downpours, which is very good, but everything, as you can see, is just uh, exploded into life. Good thing about that is I don't have to water but I do have to manage it but uh, that will be over the next few uh, videos but uh, yeah as you can see my hotbed it's bursting out of the seams as you can see they're trying to escape all the plants I've got in there even the Brussels sprouts which is quite surprising because they were quite small not so long ago but now they're massive but uh, in today's video I will be showing you a trick about having your own seed potatoes and this trick was uh, shown me by my uh, granddad many 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 years ago and he used to have some absolute fantastic crops of potatoes so uh, I will be showing you how he used to uh, get his own seed potatoes well get them ready for the next growing season so uh, I will be showing you that later in the video but uh, as you can see there everything is just phenomenal Everything is just massive green. The tomatoes are still romping on and we haven't had any blight. So touch wood, we won't get any this year. Fingers crossed. But uh, everything is looking really good. But uh, there are a few other things I'm gonna show you in today's video, apart from uh, the trick with uh, getting uh, seed potatoes so you don't have to actually buy them from garden centres you can do them yourself so uh, no further ado let's crack on with the video and show you a few of the bits and I'm making a little bit of a detour before I uh, start with uh, these seed potatoes well they're already they're nice potatoes but I'll turn them into seed potatoes but uh, let's go for the detour first a little bit of a surprise for you just to show you something and then we'll crack on with the seeds so let's get on Well, that little surprise is actually my secret location. I've uh, come here before I do the uh, seed potatoes just to uh, check out how all the trees are. And as you can see, there's quite a lot that are still in leaf and they're doing better than last year really really nice place this is I always come here if I want five minutes to myself just to chill out but also a Brucey bonus I can get leaves well in autumn I can get the leaves I might be able to get some leaves today even to add to the uh, leaf bulb bin but I'll have a check and now uh, looking at uh, what the forestry uh, people have done is cut down a few trees and there's loads of leaves underneath there so uh, yeah I think I might get a couple of bags or even just the one bag just to start and this will be the earliest I've started collecting leaves really nice place this is I wish I could say where it is but uh, that wouldn't keep it secret would it so uh, 
I'm going to have a walk right down to the very bottom that you can see in the middle of the uh, camera or the picture I should say, not the camera but have a quick walk all the way down to the bottom check on the trees there so let's go and have a look now I've just got to the bottom where all these trees are just to have another look and uh, everything is still green but there are some trees that are starting to change to their autumn colour so I think I might have plenty of uh, leaves this wind this autumn so uh, yeah let's get back to the car and um, get back to the plot to show you my leaf vault bin because I want to check on it so let's get on and crack on see you right back there what I've just shown you, uh, the uh, nice surprise of where my secret location is, I thought I'd show you uh, the leaf mould bin, as I've not seen it, or not checked on it, for the last couple of months. And um, I've dug down about three feet near the bottom, uh, probably a little bit more actually, and... Um, the leaves have rotted down faster than I thought. They have done an absolutely fantastic job. Yes, I've got some leaves around the edge of the uh, bin, as you can see. But that's mainly because they weren't covered. So I'm going to recover this in a minute. And hopefully start them rotting off. But uh, all the way down, as far as I went, it's like that unbelievable and that nearly looks ready to be sieved but uh, hopefully I'll reach my target this year in getting 50 bags for this bin so I can uh, fill it right to the very top as you can see where the top is but carry on filling through winter and spring but mainly all the way through winter because this will sink down over the weeks during winter and I just want to keep it topped up and uh, the more the merrier but uh, with getting leaves from uh, where I've just shown you I've also got a friend of mine who's a professional gardener and he is going to uh, give me bags of leaves that he gets from his customers that he sweeps up but he's also got piles of leaves himself so uh, thank you very much for that that'll be a great help and hopefully I'll be able to get my target of 50 bags this year last year I got 30 this year I want 50 and hopefully fingers crossed I'll get it but uh, if you're liking the video so far thank you very much for watching and uh, if you do like the video please smash the like button and the subscribe button as well as pressing the notification bell as well as the share button which helps and little ninja always tells me to remind you but uh, thank you very much for watching and let's crack on with the video and show you these uh, potatoes that hopefully will turn into seed potatoes. But it, I'll do it the same way as my granddad did. And he always, always had seed potatoes. He never had to buy any. Never. And he grew them every single year. So let's crack on with this seed potato trick. Well, I've uh, come back to the little den and seeds uh, popped out. And it's better to show you because it's quite blustery outside and you wouldn't be able to hear me. 
So uh, let's crack on with um, showing you how my granddad used to make his own sea potatoes. Now, as you can see there, I've got some potatoes. And the, these potatoes are panted and javelin at the front and Charlotte right there. And they are from this year's cropping that I've uh, dug up. If you've uh, seen one of my previous videos, were quite nice. But uh, with the potatoes, what my granddad used to do, he used to check them. He didn't clean them completely clean them he left a little bit of dirt on and um, he made sure they were firm so <clears throat> I've already checked them and these are solid they're not spongy they're completely solid and that is very crucial they've got to be a solid potato so both sorts are very important next ingredient I need or next thing I need is a bag of sand. Any sand will do as long as it's not from the uh, seaside. That's very important because seaside sand has a lot of bugs in it. And uh, even if you think you haven't got bugs in it, there will be. So sterilised sand is perfect. And this is just from the local builder's merchant. So this is ideal. Slightly damp, which helps with keeping these potatoes fresh. Another thing is a bucket. I also got a pair of scissors because I don't really want to bite into uh, the top of that plastic. And it looks like I've already started. So let's show you how my granddad used to uh, store his potatoes ready for seed potatoes early next year. So let's crack on. So all you need to do is put three inches of sand at the bottom of that bucket and then put three potatoes on top of the sand and then cover the sand with another three inches and repeat the process. So. Uh, I'll come back when I've done that, about halfway up, and show you how I position the potatoes. So, be right back. I thought I'd uh, come away from uh, doing the potatoes to uh, have a quick look, and uh, look what I've cropped. Half a bucket of tomatoes from every single plant. The tomatoes this year have just gone completely bonkers. Unbelievable amount. But I'm not complaining. The more the merrier. Because last year I didn't get that many. This year I've uh, quadrupled my amount I had from last year. From the same amount of bushes. So absolutely cracking. Halfway done. Here we go. And as you can see, sand is up halfway. And uh, this is the first level for pencil and uh, not pencil and javelin for uh, Charlotte, because the pencil and javelin is already in the sand. So I've got six potatoes in that bucket already, and I've got another three to put on top of these three, but with a nice layer of sand. And this is very, very good sand because it's very fine, but uh, it will keep the uh, potatoes from rotting and also let the potato have a little bit of moisture because the uh, potato will take the moisture out of the sand, not the other way around. Well, that's what my granddad used to say to me, but it did work because I did see the potatoes he used to grow and he told me many many times always use sand nothing else no soil to keep the potatoes in but uh, less, of me, less of me waffling on 
let's finish this and I'll show you at the end so let's crack on here we go all finished it's not to the very top of the bucket because I could possibly add some more potatoes just one more layer if I wanted to but that is just right and uh, all you need to do now is just put this bucket somewhere dark in a dryish area I would say in a cupboard probably if you've got a cupboard in your garage or somewhere dark not too warm and not too cold just right and um, I will come back in quite a few months probably for end of February to see how the potatoes are and get them ready so hopefully when I come back to them in five months time they will still be the same they might even have started sprouting but with the sand it uh, kind of like gives it an airtight seal for the potatoes so they're own, in their own little environment and ready for next year but I haven't, tried, I haven't done this for near enough 20 years and I thought as the prices of everything is going up I might as well start doing my own seed potatoes so thank you very much Grandad wherever you are very thankful for this method and fingers crossed it will work for me but uh, I hope you've liked this video this is Paul from the Little Red Ninja allotment channel in Little Ninja's Den and I'll see you in the next video where I've got uh, quite an interesting video the next video or possibly the next one after that which uh, might shock you and I've been doing a trial with a product and this company do swear by it and uh, I've been uh, using this product for quite a few weeks now well I used it probably about a month ago and I've already seen the benefits of it when you probably saw some of the uh, growth earlier in the video but that will be in the next video and I hope you like this video this is Paul signing off from the Little Red Ninja Allotment channel and I'll see you in the next video oh, I've got to find a dark place to put these potatoes now that shouldn't be too hard in a dark garage so see you later. Bye for now.